Hi, this is from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book on record to play for you. Today's book is Moses in Egypt from 1979. So let's get started. This is your Kid Stuff read-along book. Every time you hear this chime, it means that you are to turn the page in your storybook. Now we are ready to begin our adventure. Open your book, and we will start the story of Moses in Egypt. Remember, when you hear the chime, turn the page. In ancient times, the great nation of Egypt began to worry that the Israelites were becoming too powerful a people. So the Pharaoh of Egypt made the Israelites slaves, and still their numbers grew. The Pharaoh was worried that if the Israelites became too great in number, then one day they would take over his land. So Pharaoh sent an order throughout the land. All male children are to be killed at their birth. Most of the mothers of the newborn children hid them from the Egyptians. In the village, an Israelite mother hid her baby for three months, but she was worried that the baby would be discovered and put to death. I must try and save my child, she thought to herself. So the mother placed the baby in a basket and told her daughter, Take him to the river Nile, where the water is very calm, and set the basket free. Watch and see what happens to my child. The little girl did just as she was told. The basket was placed in the water, and the little girl watched. Now it so happened that this day, daughter of Pharaoh went to bathe in the waters of the Nile. She saw the basket and ordered her servants to bring it to her. Look, there's a child in the basket. The servant called to Pharaoh's daughter. As soon as Pharaoh's daughter saw the child, she knew it must be one of the Hebrew children. I cannot let this child die. Look how he smiles at me. I shall raise this baby as if he were my own, she declared. He will be a prince of Egypt, and he shall be called Moses, for he has come to me from the river. Now the little girl came out of the place where she was hiding and told the princess she knew a woman who would look after the baby. The princess agreed and Moses' very own mother came to the palace to raise the child. Even though the boy was taught the ways of the Egyptian, his mother never let him forget that he was a son of the Hebrews. When Moses was a young man, he was walking in the fields when he saw an Egyptian soldier beating a poor slave. He attacked the guard and they fought. The Egyptian was killed, and young Moses knew that he must leave the court of Pharaoh. So he went into the mountains where he lived and worked as a shepherd. One day, as he was tending his flocks, Moses saw a strange sight. A bush was burning, but it did not burn away. As he walked closer to this strange sight, Moses heard a voice come from the burning bush. The flames grew higher, and he was so frightened that he covered his face with his hands. The voice coming from the burning bush said, I am the God of Abraham. Then God told him to take his brother Aaron with him. 
He will be your spokesman, Moses. So Moses returned to the palace of Pharaoh. As they entered the throne room, Pharaoh looked at the shepherd and said, What is it that you want, Moses? Why have you come to the throne of Pharaoh? Moses told Pharaoh that the God of his people wanted them to leave Egypt. Pharaoh laughed at Moses. <laughs> I will not let the Israelites go. They are my slaves. Moses then told Pharaoh to let his people go or all of Egypt would suffer. This angered Pharaoh. He stood up and said in an angry voice, I shall never let the people of Israel go. because he was so angered by Moses' visit to his palace, made the people of Israel work twice as hard. And if they did not keep up with their burdens, then he punished them. Moses once again returned to the palace, and Pharaoh said to him, If your God wants the Israelites to leave my land, then show me a miracle so that I can see your God's power. Moses threw his staff to the ground, and it turned into a snake. But Pharaoh's magicians who were watching this did the same. But Moses' snake ate the other snakes, showing Moses was more powerful. But this deed did not change mighty Pharaoh's mind. The next morning, Pharaoh was at the banks of the River Nile to bathe when Moses appeared. Let my people go, Moses said. Pharaoh cried, No! Moses touched the river with his staff, and the river turned to blood. All the fish in the river died, and the people of Egypt had no water to drink. But still Pharaoh would not yield. So Moses sent the seven plagues upon the people of Egypt. First came the plague of the frogs. They appeared and crawled over everything. The people were frightened, so Pharaoh called to Moses to take away the frogs, and his people could leave the land. When the frogs vanished, the evil pharaoh changed his mind and would not let the people leave. So once again, Moses sent a plague to Egypt. This time, flies shall swarm over the land of Egypt. As Moses raised his arms to the heavens, millions of flies appeared and infested Egypt. Moses said, Let my people go. Pharaoh answered, Yes. But when the flies vanished, the king of Egypt once again sent word to Moses that he would not let the Israelites leave. Then another plague came to the Egyptians. All the animals of Egypt died, while all the Israelites' animals were spared. People were then covered with boils and fell ill. Pharaoh cried out, Take the plague from my land! When it was done, Pharaoh laughed at Moses and said, <laughs> Your people shall always be my slaves. Moses was so angered that he raised his arms to the heaven and the sky was filled with thunder and lightning. The storm ruined the crops of all Egypt, all but the crops of the Israelites, where no storm raged. Pharaoh cried out, I have sinned. Take the plagues away and leave my land. But when the storm was gone, the heart of Pharaoh again hardened. Then Moses sent the plague of the locusts. The land was black with the locusts when Pharaoh called Moses and told him to take away the plague and leave. Once again, Moses was tricked. So Moses went to Pharaoh and told him, that the greatest plague of all would come to him if Pharaoh did not let the people go. Pharaoh laughed at Moses and said, <laughs> You can do me no harm. This time, the angel of death came down on Egypt and killed the firstborn son of every Egyptian family. Only the Israelites were saved. The cries of the people filled the air. Even in the palace, there was much crying and lamenting. Pharaoh's young son also died. This time, Pharaoh told Moses, Leave my land! Take all of your people and all that belongs to you! Moses
Moses sent word to the Israelites, and they prepared to leave the land of Egypt and begin a new life. The great procession of people began to cross the desert towards the Red Sea and the new land, the promised land. Moses was their leader. So that was Moses in Egypt from 1979. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a good review there. Our next book will be Peter Rabbit. <laughs>